So in this video, we will learn how to export specific data from Google Analytics to Microsoft Excel. So basically, you can export the data of your Google Analytics, the complete data from Google Analytics in Microsoft Excel. But what if I tell you that you want some specific data on a regular basis? For example, you want to get the sessions or new user account daily in Microsoft Excel. Now you can automatically get it. So to set up this automation, the trigger will be receiving the data, receiving the analytics data from Google Analytics. And the action will be addition of that analytics data as a new row in Microsoft Excel. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pavli Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here just click on access now below Pavli Connect. After clicking on access now, we will reach to Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now in this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Analytics to Microsoft Excel, Google Analytics to MS Excel and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is we want to get the analytics data, the analytics reports from Google Analytics every day. So first we will be getting that data. And after that, using Public Connect, we will send that same data to Microsoft Excel as a new row. But guys, we want to get the analytics reports, analytics data from Google Analytics every day. So we have to first ensure that this automation workflow should execute, should run every single day. Now to do so, we have to use a feature of Public Connect here in trigger window, that is the schedule. So select schedule over here. And after selecting schedule by Public, it is asking us how often you want to run your workflow. So in the drop down, we can see several options and we, because we want to execute this workflow every day, select every day over here. After that, it is asking us for the time that every day at what time this automation workflow should be executed. So for example, I'll select the time as 9 a.m. and click on save. And that's it. This workflow is scheduled to be executed every day at 9 a.m. After scheduler, we have ensured that this automation workflow will execute every day. But now we have to get the data analytics data from Google Analytics. For that, scroll down and come to action window. And here in choose app, search for Google Analytics. Select Google Analytics and after that, in action event from the drop down, select get run report, run report GA4, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Analytics account with Public Connect and to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Analytics button over here, select your Google Analytics account, scroll down and click on continue. That's it guys. We have successfully connected our Google Analytics account with Public Connect over here. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the property ID. So here we have to enter the property ID of our Google Analytics account whose analytics data we want to receive. So here you must be thinking how you can get this property ID. Let me show you. Now to get this property ID, let's go to our Google Analytics account. This is my home page and here at the left side, left bottom corner, we will see an ad admin option over here. Just click on admin. After that, here you ha just have to here in account section, you just have to select your Google Analytics account from this drop down and then you can see this property section. So guys, here you will see that I have already created a property. That's why I have the property ID over here. If you haven't created your property yet, just select your account and then by clicking on this create property button, you can create your property over here as well. And after that, after creating this property, just click on this property settings option. And that is it. Here at the right side, we can see the property ID of our Google Analytics account. Just copy this property ID whose data we want to get, whose analytics data we want to get, go to public connect and paste it over here. 
After that, after entering the property, the next thing it asks us is the start date and end date. So guys, we want the use case over here is we want to get the analytics data of yesterday and add it as a new row in today at 9 a.m. So we want to get the data every day and we want to get the data analytics data a day before. So here in start date, as you can see, it also takes end day ago, yesterday, today, this kind of format other than date. So we will be entering yesterday over here in start date and end date will also be the same in end date as well. We will enter yesterday. Now guys, because I wanted to get yesterday's data, that's why in this video I have yes, entered yesterday. But if you want to get that analytics data of, for example, seven days ago, 10 days ago, 15 days ago, you can basically refer to this help text and select any duration. And by default, if you leave this field blank, by default, it will take the analytics data of last seven days. So guys, basically, you can basically enter the dates that for the time duration for start date end date. You can this few days ago, you can use yesterday, today to get the analytics data of that particular time period of your choice using this automation. Now, after this guy start date and end date, it is asking us metric name that what are the metrics? What is the analytics data? What are the metrics we want to get from Google Analytics account? So here the help text is enter multiple comma separated metrics name. So we can basically add multiple metrics names by adding commas between them. See the API metric for the list metric name. So here we have a hyperlink. Just click on it and in a new tab, it will take us to a page. And at this page, you will basically get all the API names which we are supposed to enter uh, for the metrics over here in this metric name section. So the metrics which I want to get is for example, active user. So this is a metric and this is the API name of this metric active user. Just copy this metric name from here, API name from here and paste it over here in metric name section. Add a comma. Now after API name, the next metric which I want to get is the bounce rate. So we will copy the API name for bounce rate from here, from this page. Just copy it and we will paste it over here in public connects metric name field. Let's add another comma. Let's move to our next metric and that is the conversion. So copy the API name for the metric conversion. Go to public connect and paste it over here. So in this video guys, just for an example, I'm taking all of these metrics. Basically from this list, you can take any metric. Just enter the API names after the, by adding commas in this metric name field and you can get re uh, the response or the result or the analytics data of all of these metrics. The next metric is session. So just copy this metric name, go to public connect and paste it over here. So in this video right now, ju I'm just taking the example of these four metrics. After the metric name, it is asking us more for the metric expression. So we have, we can basically enter the mathematically der derived expression over here as well. So this field is not mandatory, not required. So I'm just going to ignore this field for now in this video. The next thing it asks us is filter by metric. The help text below it says enter dimension or metric name for filtering must be a name defined as a dimension or metric, for example, active user. So basically we can add some kind of filter. For example, it is given active user. Let's add this only in this video. So I will enter the filter by metric is active users and the metric operator will be, for example, greater than and the comparison will be will be 10. For example, here we have entered these details. This basically means if the active user, the count of active user is greater than 10, is greater than 10, this will value, then only we will get the analytics data in the response. If not, we won't be getting any analytics data. It will fil filter out the value of active user in the response. So this basically you can use this field, for example, to get the analytics data if something is above or below the record. Like for example, if I want that if the active user, the count of active user is less than 10 or, or less than 100, so I will enter 100 over here. And if the, the account of active user is less than 100, only then I will get the alert or the responses or the analytics data for that in the response. So in this way, let's select greater than 10, let's select filter by metric as active user and it is greater than 10. So after entering all of these details, just click on save and send test request. By clicking on save and send test request, we have received the analytics data from Google Analytics in our public and workflow. So we have the count of active user, we have the bounce rate, we have the conversion, and we also have the sessions. So guys, basically we have received the analytics data from our Google Analytics account in Public Connect. 
after receiving this data we want to add this analytics data of our choice to microsoft excel so this is the excel sheet in which i want to add data i have created separate fields for bounce rate session active users and conversions so we will add this data in their respective field but also i have added a column of date that in which i want to add the date that on what date we have received this analytics data but in our workflow or in our responses from google analytics we don't have any current date over here as of now so what we are going to do we are going to use a feature of pavli connect that is date time formatter to introduce the current date in our workflow just click on this add action step button over here and after that in choose app from the drop down select date time formatter then in action event from the drop down select current date and click on connect now guys it is asking us basic format that in which format we want our date to be so i want my date to be in the format of month day and year i'll just select this format and then include time in response so do we want to include the time in response as well so i don't want time in response i just want the current date so i will select false over here and click on save and send test request now in response we have the current date that is september 3rd 2022 today's date Now after that just scroll down and click on this add, add action step button over here. So guys every day this workflow will execute get the data from Google Analytics of a day before then it will add current date today's date that on what date we are getting this data. And then it will add the final step we will add over here is to add all of this data to Microsoft Excel. So here in action step we will search for Excel over here. Then after that in action event from the drop down select the action event as add row to worksheet click on connect and select add new connection now here guys what we have to do we have to obviously connect our microsoft excel account with pavli connect and to make this connection just click on connect with microsoft excel button over here so in the it is asking us for the authorization permission so here in my browser because i have already logged into my microsoft excel account Public Connect has detected the same account, and now it is asking us for the authorization permission. So I'll just scroll down and click on yes, and that is it. We will see that our Microsoft Excel account gets connected with Public Connect over here. After making this connection, the next thing, the first thing it asks us is the workbook. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which I have created in my Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. and from this list we want to select the workbook in which we want to add this analytics data so i have created this workbook this sheet named as google analytics data and i want to add the data in this sheet as a new row so i will search for this sheet google analytics data so after selecting our workbook the next thing it asks us is the worksheet so in this workbook as you can see there is only one sheet named as sheet 1 So here in Pavli Connect, we will select Sheet One over here. Then it is asking us column A, B, C, D, E. So basically, all the columns of data which we have created in our worksheet can be seen over here as fields in Pavli Connect. And one by one, we will add this data, their respective data, in this field, so that using this automation, we can add that data as a new row in Pavli Connect. So let me show you how we are going to do this. So the column A is of date, and in this column we wanted to add the current date, the date on which we are getting this data. So we have received current date using date time format a step over here in the response. So what we have to do, we have to basically map the same date over here in this field of column A. And guys, the process of of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field, and in the drop down below we can see all the responses which we have received in previous steps. and out of all of these responses from the response of date time formatter select this response and it is mapped over here so in this way we use the process of mapping then after column a let's see how we map the data in column b that is the bounce rate we wanted to add in column b so we have received the bounce rate from google analytics so just click on this field and from the responses of google analytics select the response of bounce rate and map it over here the next column is of column c follow the same process just click here from the responses of column c the column c is for session so we will select the session's response and map it in column d follow the same process and map the active user and respectively in column e so in column e we wanted to add the conversions 
so we will add the conversions over here so in this way we have map, mapped all the required data over here in these fields after this just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received some response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here basically the data the analytics data which we have received from google analytics of yesterday a day before is now added as a new row in our microsoft excel sheet now let's check it we'll go to microsoft excel and we will refresh this sheet once and yes guys here you can see that the same date same bounce rate same session same activism and same conversion so we have yesterday's data that uh, sorry we have received that data today so we have today's date and then we have the yesterday's analytics data like the same bounce rate session activism and conversion so now we can see that the automation which we have created in this video guys is working perfectly fine now every day at a specific time which we have selected in schedule step let me show you so every day at 9 am this automation workflow will trigger will initiate it will get the analytics data of a day before means of yesterday from google analytics account then using date time formatter it will add the current date on the date on which this automation workflow will be executed and at last it will add all of this data in our microsoft excel sheet as a new row so in this way guys you can basically extract or get specific data from your google analytics account in your microsoft excel sheet on a regular interval or on a regular basis automatically using this automation so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli can expressing at this link so if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day